Welcome back to Tip to Tally Films. While the defense has been sus at best, the offense has been rolling as of lately. They've gotten better each week. They've seemed to find a way to effectively use Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry in the backfield. The run game has been great as of late. Even in the passing game, we've started to hit the open man. We've incorporated our big four uh, passing threats, adding Justice Hill a little bit on third down, and we've really been effective in the passing game. But it's really been the most effective in the passing game to me is the use of play action and boots. Uh, those little subtleties in the pass game have really opened up wide receiver lanes to the fact that they are one of the best um, at separation, average separation throughout the league. And I think that's attributed mainly to, to, play, to play action. But what I'm going to show you today is it's hard as heck to score on drives of 90 plus yards. The Baltimore Ravens did it twice in this game. And the mainly defensive philosophy is make offensive make offenses run as many plays as possible, and they'll eventually mess up, whether it be interception, fumble, penalties, and stuff like that. Well, when you get two plays of 90-plus yards, your offense might be kind of unstoppable. And at this point of the season, it looks like the Baltimore Ravens offense is that. But let's take a look at one of those 90-play drives and see how effective the Baltimore Ravens were in that drive. Welcome back to Sip Italian Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. Let's get to the film. Welcome back. But before we get started, take a quick second to hit that like button. It helps generate traffic with the channel. And also maybe re and reach someone that is not subscribed. So please do me a favor, hit that like button, and let's get started. So you see here we're started at the six-yard line. And again, most drives that start on the negative six don't end in points, period, much less a touchdown. But we're going to start with power right. And we haven't been running a lot of power. Had been mostly zone stuff. But what's supposed to happen here on this power is Ricard is supposed to kick whoever shows up on the end man on line of scrimmage. Everybody else, down blocks. And that's probably going to be a base block for Falele. Should be a combination to one of these backers. Should be a down block by Kolar. And Makari should pull around and wrap to the first backer. That's what should happen. But they got, they got so many in the box. They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, basically nine in the box. It's going to be tough to get this power off with all these people in the box right here. So Nelly's going to have to get in on number 11, and that's one of the most impossible blocks for a wide receiver to block that guy that far inside. You see Nelly can't get that inside leverage. You see they have all just attacked the line of scrimmage. There's really nowhere for uh, Derrick Henry to go. You Kolar really couldn't go down. Pat Ricard really couldn't you know, get a kick out because they all pinched down. And Derrick just cut the whole thing back. Luckily, he was able to fall forward for two yards. And that, that's what the commanders did all game long. They just sold out versus the run. And all wide receivers and tight ends were in man-to-man -man coverage all game. And all they had to do was just beat man. All right here, we got second and eight. And this is one. This has been one of our bread and butters, toss. And you see right Nelly with the, with the down. They kind of invite the defense being to come up field. And when he realized, oh, snap, toss, Aguilar's there to kind of seal him off. You got Stanley getting inside, letting him go. Going to cut off this backer, which is great. You know, Pat Stanley was hurt. He couldn't be as agile and get out there. So now you're going to have a seal. McCarty break that down. Aguilar going to block that down. You're going to have Pat leading. You're going to have Linderbaum leading. Then Derrick just got to be a back and do his thing. And this has been one of our bread and butter plays here lately. Back up a little bit. See all your blocks. Now, you're really looking to seal. Everybody's sealed off. And if Pat Ricard can kick out this corner that's coming down here, you should have a play. And there it is. There's your gaps. First down run. 12 yards, not mistaken. This third play of the drive. On the 20, first and 10 from the 20. 
uh, play action. And again, they so, they selling out. So you got one on one coverage. You got cover one. And Mark just beats the guy across the middle. Look, with all that open space, one on one, Mark, you got to do your thing. He give him a little uh. He give him a little stud at the top of his route. Uh uh-uh, uh. To create space. Kind of hesitate him a little bit. Good throw. Good catch. Good route. Another first down. Back to back plays. You pick up first down. I think 12 yards, then um, 15 yards. Going back to the running game. First 10, we're going power left. Now, what's happening on this one? You should get a kick out from Ricard on this defensive end. Now, you got about 77. You got you to be a dancing bass, 77, and pull around and get the play side back. Everybody else should have down blocks. Let's see what we get. There you go. You got your kick out by Ricard, which is successful. You got your down block. You got a double team by Linda Baum. I mean, not by Linda Baum, by um, uh, Macari and Ronnie. And then you should have Kolar going to this backside backer like that. And then you should have Falele come around to hit number four. So this should, Falele should mash number four. Should. There it is. There it is. Everybody's a hat on a hat. Even though his hat is inside, it should be outside. But that's nitpicking. Well, no, it ain't. Because that's, <laughs> that ain't nitpicking. Because that's where the gap need to be. Falele's head should be on this side. Falele's head should be on this side of the guy, not on that side, because this is the hole. This is the gap right here that you're supposed to run. You got your seal off by Kolar, Ronnie. You got your kick out by Ricard. Falele should be kicking this man out with his head on the other side, and Derrick Henry should run that gap right there. This is the new ones that we talk about when we talk about the little things that Falele ain't doing right. But, you know, people don't want us to correct the offensive line because we're still doing good. Even though you do good, you still want to, you know, try to be better. You want to try to do everything to perfection. Still got four yards because you got Derrick Henry, he's going to fall forward. And everybody else did their job. But if Valele had done his job right, that four-yard game probably could have been, who knows, with Derrick. Probably could have been a goal plus splitter. Right, we got second and six from the 39, minus 39. Now I put I put the um all twenty two and the end zone shot on this one because he decided to run so fast. I'm not sure if this was a draw or just he didn't like the routes or the coverage and took off. Maybe he saw that dude coming around the edge and just decided to go. Like this dude coming un- untouched, number four. He cause he's looking that way. So maybe he saw him coming, he decided to run. So that's why I put the bo- I put both on here. They have it labeled a scramble, meaning it was a pass, and he decided to take off run. Which, as I the more I see it, the more I realize it probably was a straight pass, and he saw four coming off the edge and decided to run. End up getting tackled by the legendary Bobby Wagner. I right, got third and five. If I'm not mistaken, this might be the only third down we face this drive, if I'm not mistaken. Get a little motion by Isaiah. Likely that is. Again, you got to win one, one-on-one cover. They just playing cover one. Just, just look at that. All that cover one. Cover one. Cover one. Cover. Cover. And you got your one safety back here. But on this play, this is the play we get to pass interference. Some say it was. Some say it wasn't. Let's see if we can do this. If I can do this for you. Mm, is it? Is it? I mean, it looks like he pulled him down. Look like passing interference to me. Hey, I, passing interference, we'll take it. This puts us on the 50 yard line. So we'll take it all day, every day. Third and five, you get a pass interference, you know, on like a little hitch play. We'll take that all day. So to me, that's good route running by Bate because he drew 
the pass interference, drive steady going. First and 10 from the 50. And again, we we, just go, we mixing and matching who we go to, so you can't just key in on one receiver. Got a little play action. Now you get some zone out of them. Now you're getting some zone. But again, we're going to flood this zone. You got Derrick Henry and Shallow right here. Derrick Henry Shallow. Bait. Going to blow the top off this thing. And you're going to have, um, if I'm not mistaken, Mark's going to leak out right here and be super wide open. Like nobody's going to even be around him. You got double posts. And you got um, Derrick in the flat. So you're really just flooding it. Because they got to respect those posts. Got to. Look how open Mark is. Nobody's around him. This is Mark right here. Nobody's around him. Both of the posts are taken by, by all the, the deep safeties. And you got the flats taken by Derrick Henry. He's wide open in the intermediate. This time Lamar don't don't give him a, um, <laughs> a bad ball that he got to dive on the ground and catch. He catches this one for a nice chunk of change. Nice chunk of change. Now we're in the red zone. Because we got that big play by Mark. We're on the 12-yard line. We get some lead zone. It's time to, to close it with Derrick Henry. Get the inside zone. Ricard leading. You got a double team with Linda Bum and Falele. The hip to hip. I love it. Rosengarten picks up his man. Now the thing about this is. Linda Bum and Falele should double team up to Bobby Wagner. But what I've learned throughout coaching, the best way to double team to a backer is to take the defensive lineman to that backer. And that way you never have to come off and you shade the defense, you shade the linebacker from getting to the uh, ball carrier. And this is a perfect example of that. Look at Linda Bum and Falele. Watch them drive that defensive lineman all the way to Bobby Wagner. So Bobby Wagner can't even get in the play. So they've technically covered up both of their guys by driving the first guy off the line of scrimmage. McCarry's got in the second level. Ronnie's kind of sealed back. And the one guy that we, we're not accounted for is the 32. Ricard's taking care of that. So basically, you still got a hat on the hat. Now it's up to Derek to just be a back, find the open gap, run the grass. Then got about five yards on that. So now we're looking at second and five, if I'm not mistaken, from the seven. Yep. And this is just split zone. Simple, basic play, split zone. Split zone, everybody, all the offensive linemen are running zone left, including Likely. Who's that? Ronnie, Makari, Linderbaum, Falele, Rosengardner. Pat Ricard coming across the formation, that's the split part, and blocking the end man on line of scrimmage. And Derrick Henry just coming down here, running, running to daylight. Split zone, simple concept. Inside zone with the slice coming back across the, the grain. Now, this is, I need y'all to see this. This is what we need out of Daniel Falele all year long. We need this out of Daniel Falele. Look at that flat back by Falele. If Falele can get in this position all year long, if he can get in this position all year long, that sun gun will become virtually unstoppable he's too big he's too too he's just too big if he can get in this position he'll be virtually unstoppable all year long i gotta make sure i screenshot this because this is a this is what you want out of daniel falele that flat back that low center of gravity if you if he can do that i will shut up about him but he got to be consistently doing that the one snap that he he tripped and blocked the dude on the kick out. He had a flat back like that. That's what we need out of Falele all the time. If we get that out of Falele, he would definitely be turning he would definitely turn into a serious, serious player. And Derrick Henry cuts it right off that block. Right off that block. And again, if we get the O line playing up to par with the, the backs and the skill guys, I think we're unstoppable now once we get rolling. We definitely be unstoppable in a hole. It'll be a complete offense because you don't have one guy that you can shut down and then stop the offense. You got to defend every blade of grass, be the three and a half feet wide, 
100 yards deep. And we'll be really, really unstoppable. So I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Remember the motto is film, then more film. If you made it this far, please like the video. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and share it. Share, share, share. I'm trying to make this channel grow. And I'll see y'all in the next one, man. Peace and love.